Okay, now next code, um, you can just delete what we last typed in uh, last episode, and then type the following. We're just going to declare um, int a set it equal to 8, and then int b set it equal to 9. Now we're going to start off with uh, if, and then the condition a equals b. And then I'm going to show you a few ways you can type it. You can first type it like, woo, my bad, like this. You can just do the if and then the ns log a is equal to b. And then you can also do it this way a is not equal to to be and then have the ns log in uh, brackets so two different styles really doesn't have any effect on the outcome or actually it does not have any effect uh, equal to b okay and then uh, gonna have another if statement here a is greater than b NS log uh, A is greater than B. And then we're going to do else. NS log A is not greater than B so there we go and now we're gonna uh, get into some of the boolean type stuff uh, we're gonna declare a bool type remember it's a type just like an integer we're just gonna name it Z um, and then we're gonna set it not equal to but we're gonna set a equal B in it so there you can see the importance of using the correct equal signs with uh, different in different situations. Now we're going to do if not if it's not Z. So remember it's a Boolean type. So in statements you always think of Boolean types as true. Remember I said that in the lesson. So if it is not Z, so if Z is not true then display ns log a is not not equal to b and then we're going to do another bool uh, y and then set up in it a is greater than b now if let me scroll down there. If y is not oops is not equal to yes, which is pretty much just saying if y is no. So um if a is not equal to b then or is not greater than B, then display the ns log that we're going to display. A is not greater than B. So as you can see, you, the different ways you can display all these things, they can kind of get confusing. But I just want to show you all the different ways that you can display these whoops, these different um, uh, ifs and different statements and stuff uh, now we're going to do the condition so first you just start off with uh, a equal to b then you do that conditional which is the question mark and then you do first ns log would be 
a is equal to b and then the second one and then read that colon then ns log a is not equal to b and down below here we're going to do a little bit more bool bool and then boolean variable one equals or I say equals but really is a not equal to b and remember that uh, logical and a is less than b now if boolean variable one oh, whoops, equals yes so if both of these are correct because remember it's an and then ns log a is not equal to b and less than b and then close that out and then you have the return zero at the bottom as always now we'll both run this save all the build results here so the first one we have a is not equal to b um this first one up here since a is not equal to b it was the second one that was displayed then we have a is not greater than b um it was actually the else statement that took into play right here and then we have a is not equal to b because the boolean type z equals a is equal to each other if it is not display a is not equal to b and it was not because they are different numbers and then we have a is not greater than b um because we have that if y is does not equal yes so pretty much if y equals no so if y is not so if it's not the a is greater than b then display this and a is not greater than b because a is actually uh eight now we have the conditional a is equal to b or a is not equal well typo there but a is not equal to b it was the second condition then we have the boolean variable one that we did that logical and with and because they both were true it displayed a is not equal to b and less than b so there you just get a little bit of taste of um, the different choices and paths that you can use in your program um, hope this program tutorial helped you out please check out all my other ones if you haven't already and please subscribe for more great tutorials like these thanks for watching